Hey guys, in this video we're going to add a comments model to our blog API and we're going to create a relationship between the post model to the comments model so that we can pull in all of the data and uh, test it and view it uh, using a tool called Tinker. So let's get started. First thing is that we have our application running here in Docker. I'm going to open up the terminal for the application server itself and I'm going to bring this over to this window here and we're going to run the first command that we need to run which is the migrate command or the uh, to create the comments model sorry so php artisan make model we're going to call it comment and we're going to ask that a migration file get created as well I'm going to hit enter on this. And now that both files are created, we're going to go over to our um, VS Code. We're going to go into Database, into Migrations, and open up the, uh, comment migra the comments migration. We're going to add two or th uh, three more columns. So first thing we're going to do is this column is going to be an integer always forget how to spell that and we're going to set it to be the post underscore ID now when we use syntax like this Laravel obviously Laravel knows that the relationship exists between these two tables that we're going to build in just a second so we're going to also create a relationship between the uh, or lay down the groundwork I should say for the user model um, to be associated with the comments but we're not going to do anything really with that right now so the last thing that we need to do is to create one last column which is going to be a string and this is going to be the actual comment itself so with that saved then we'll go back over to our terminal we'll run php artisan migrate Hit enter. And now with the comments table created, we can add the relationship to the post model. So we need to go into the post model and we need to add one function. It's going to be a public function. It's going to be called comment. And all we need to do is put in a return statement, and we're going to say that this object has many, is one of the types of relationships that Laravel has built in, and we need to tell it what class it is that it has a relationship to, and that's comment, and hit save. Now with all of this in place, we should be able to once again go over to our terminal and we're going to use a tool called PHP Artisan Tinker. Hit enter on this and it's going to change the prompt to um, the greater than greater than greater than symbol and now we can interact with our app as if we are using it from the command line so we're going to bring in our comments class we're going to say app models comment and then we're going to set a variable called comment equal to a new comment now let's put these two screens side by side so that we can remember which data variables we were using okay so now we're going to set some of the data so we're going to say comment and we're going to say post ID equals to two I don't actually have a one but you can use one we're gonna say user ID is equal to one and then we're going to say that the body is equal
equal to a string of text that says this is a test comment. And I'm hitting the up arrow to get back to uh, the line that I had previously put in. I think that it saves me some time and saves me some mental kind of sort of space. So what we're going to do is the last thing we have to do is we have to save our model. So comment save. So that's true. All right. Now, let me just throw a clear on this. We're going to bring in our post model. So we're going to say use app models post. We're going to say post, excuse me, dollar sign post is equal to post find one. No, I'm sorry, post find two, because that's the one that I have. Now let's view our comment. So if we want to just view the comment now that we have our post model loaded, we could do dollar sign post comment and then the get function. Okay, so I forgot the open parenthesis, close parenthesis, but now you can see that we're getting our comment and we didn't actually have to say this is the comment that is linked to this post model. And then the last thing that you can do just to kind of sort of get all of the information right away is you could say post equals post with, and then you can tell it which relationships you want it to bring in. You can make this also an array if you want to, but we only have one relationship so far. And then we're going to use the get command. And you can see now with this, we get all of the posts that we have, but then with our post, which is ID of two, we also get our comment, but we then get all of the other posts as well. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful and I will see you guys next time.